It is actually impossible for any business owned by a white man to succeed in Nigeria. White people do business in a different way. Their own way of going about business, marketing, advertising, you know, getting clients, dominating the business atmosphere. Their own strategy about it is the normal strategy they teach in Harvard. They teach in uh, where you go to the best business schools, where you go to all those Oxford, Cambridge. Uh, they teach them those classical, fine, soft way to grow and promote business. Those things don't work in Nigeria. It don't work. It doesn't. You, there is no way a white man's business can succeed in Nigeria. Forget it. It is impossible. And that's why you don't see many white-owned businesses striving. Even if white man owns a business in Nigeria, the directors of the business will be Nigerians. Those who will be engineering the progress of the business in Nigeria will be Nigerians. But to say a white man sits and controls a business in Nigeria and the business succeeds, um, uh, um, uh, they're not born that white man. They're not that born. Nigeria is not Ghana. Nigeria is not South Africa. Nigeria is not any country where you can just come in like that and, and have it. Why am I saying this? I will show you something now. Okay? Before we start talking more details about this in the video. And I'll explain to you why that cannot happen. The white man's business cannot. You know, recently we talked about the APs that decided to take another step. The AP said, no, we are going further. We will fly to UK. We will fly to America. We will fly. The airlines of the UK and all of that, they tried to stop our bet. AP still they sell out. The, the company is still announcing that they are fully booked for UK. They are fully booked for America. You understand? That's to tell you that the, <laughs> these people are different. But the problem now is not even the competition from outside. It's not even the, the UK airlines and American airlines. The real problem now eh, is Nigeria. Because now, look at another airline in Nigeria. Aquaibom has an airline, apparently. Aquaibom State. From those of you who are from Aquaibom. I want to go home. I'm from Aquaibom. Aquaibom, I, I, I. We go and not be more to Aquaibom get again. Oh. Aquaibom has airways. So they call it Ibom Airways. You can see they are plain clean. They are plain sweet. They are plain soft. Many Nigerians have been using it. The Aquabon, because of the success of AirPs going international, there is more competition inside Nigeria. That means Aquabon is just bought about 10 new air buses. They say, no, as AirPs won't show, say, no, be your Ah, we serve, we go show them, say, no, we'll be your guy pass. So Aquabon AirPs, Aquabon rather, air is there. And it's not only Aquabon. I'm sure there are many other states in Nigeria that own their own airlines. I will do it. I will do a single video about this. It is it is very very funny, guys. You have to think about it. How can states own this kind of airlines? Where we have African countries like Cameroon, Ghana, that do not even have an airline. Cameroon no get airline. Ghana no get airline. But states in Nigeria own airlines that can fly international. Individuals. That is. Oh boy, suppose they bust your brain. Suppose they bust your bubble. Every time a Nigerian does something good, every time a Nigerian becomes successful at something, eh, the Nigeria will not face competition from outside that. It's only inside Nigeria that competition will arise to tell the person that, ah, my brother, you don't do am. We said, we'll show you if you do am. And it's good. One thing I love about it is that the competition in Nigeria is healthy. It is very, very healthy. Now tell me, how to go about business in Nigeria? Do you think that Harvard knowledge, Oxford knowledge can work? You are competing, you're a white man coming into Nigeria to do business, you are coming in to compete with people who, who, whose mindset about business is totally different. The Nigeria, you are competing with people who all their life from childhood in a business. Just imagine a, 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 a piece, a, an Igbo man. These people are natural business people. They bond them with business. Their own kind of promotion. Nigeria promotion is not Harvard promotion for you to promote your business and be successful in Nigeria. The promotion is not Harvard. It's not Oxford. You use Oxford knowledge in Nigeria, you will, your business goes nowhere. And I can confirm to you this. There's this Nigerian actor. Uh, Abina Jim Ike. Abina Jim Ike. 
this dark guy, he come out, he came out to testify that he opened his business in Nigeria and employed uh, all these all these guys with masters in business management, masters in accounting, masters in business administration here and there. However, he employed all of them to work for his business in Nigeria. Business go nowhere. The business does not work. That's why people now call him, say, guy, take those men on the streets. Take those guys that have been selling on the street for 10 years, on 20. They know how this thing works in Nigeria. Nigeria no be obodoibo. The what works in Nigeria is a is a the atmo the business atmosphere in Nigeria is more competitive than the Premier League. It's more competitive than any competition you can imagine or think of. So you have to be extremely extremely special. You have to be extremely good. And we all know say white man no get that talent. White man no get that talent. And Nigeria is not going to buy anything because of say it's a white man product. Nigeria is not Ghana. I keep saying it. If white man just present anything now to some African countries, they will jump on it, they'll buy it. On the contrary, if white man present car for Nigeria, the next day, another Nigerian man will make that car. Look, make it look exactly the same the way the white man's own is looking. And say, oh, white man, you bring car. See our own car now. See our own car. And that's the difference, man. You cannot, white man cannot win. They cannot win in Nigeria business atmosphere. I've, I, that nobody in the world can win. That's the, not just white man. South African, even MTN in Nigeria, they will put a Nigeria at the top. If they bring a South African to run a business in Nigeria, it will crumble. Bring any foreigner to run a business in Nigeria, it will, the business will not go far. Because eh, in Nigeria, everybody, everybody hates no correct. Everybody mind don't cast. You understand? So you suppose, do the business as if your mind self don't cast. Before you will experience the kind of success they are getting. Don't play. Don't play. That's why no white man, no white owned companies, no white businesses succeed in Nigeria. They can keep going to Ghana, go to Cameroon, go to other African countries. But you see Nigeria, no way for them. No way at all. It is what it is. Your boy Ajo Maxi on this one. I hope that this video makes sense. Eh? Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers!